Hello and welcome to Graphic Online News in Brief. In the headlines, President Ekufuado calls on public to support security agencies to fight crime. NPP commends police service for proactiveness. Hours of heavy rains leave parts of Accra and Cape Coast flooded. National Communications Authority launches National Cyber Security Awareness Month. And register your SIM cards or risk losing your mobile numbers. New SIM Brief is brought to you by Graphic News Plus. Download your Graphic News Plus now and choose your preferred package daily, weekly, monthly and annually and access free news on various interest areas as well. Graphic News Plus, connecting people through news. And now the news in brief. President Ekufuado is assuring the public of the security services determination to deal decisively with threats posed by dangerous criminals and criminal syndicates behind recent robbery incidents. He says he is personally aware of the latest incidents of violent crimes in some parts of the country, which is generating safety and security concerns among the public. President Okufado was speaking at the 50th Cadet Officers Graduation Ceremony of the Ghana Police Service at the Police Academy in Accra. In all, 129 officers made up of 30 females and 99 males, including six medical doctors, a lawyer and career police officers passed out after a nine-month course. President Okufado says Ghana is facing many challenges, which are complex and sometimes unpredictable, but says the public can help to fight crime by supporting and cooperating with security agencies. Still on the issue of security, the new Patriotic Party has commended the Ghana Police Service for their more proactive public posture in addressing recent developments which have affected the safety of Ghanaians. The NPP's Director of Communications, Yabwabia Samoa, says the police have recently been engaging the public in real time and sharing the path of their progress in ongoing investigations into the matters affecting the security of citizens. Citing the police response to the reported kidnap of a pregnant woman in Takrade, which turned out to be fake, Mr. Samoa urged the public service agencies, especially utilities, to engage swiftly on their challenges that affect service delivery in order to forestall misunderstanding. He said the party will continue to support the police to ensure swift action in incidents of mob destruction of property and physical attacks in order to terminate violence as a method of resolution of public grievances. We wish to commend the police on their more proactive public posture. They are engaging in real time and sharing the path of their progress. We urge them to sustain this level of communication. We also urge other public service agencies, especially utilities, to engage swiftly on their challenges affecting service delivery in order to forestall misunderstanding. Above all, we commend the police for their swift and dogged investigation of the Takrade matter and hope that they will bring it to the appropriate conclusion. Furthermore, we support the police to ensure swift action in incidents of mob destruction of property and fiscal attack in order to terminate violence as a method of resolution of public grievances. The MPP is ready to partner well-meaning citizens to expand spaces for dialogue in the democracy that we are building together. Several hours of rain in the early hours of Friday in Accra and Cape Coast has left parts of the two cities flooded. The affected areas in Accra include Kaneshi, Sakaman and Adabraka, while Pedu, the University of Cape Coast and Abrua were some of the areas affected in Cape Coast. In Accra, residents of the affected areas were seen salvaging what was left of their belongings, while others struggled to wade through the flood waters to get to their destinations. In Cape Coast, personnel from the Ghana National Fire Service spent hours pumping water out of affected homes. In some cases, they had to break walls to rescue trapped residents. The situation resulted in some schools cancelling classes, while many shops remained closed for the early hours of the day. No casualties has been reported. The Ministry of Communications and Digitalization on Friday launched the 2021 edition of the National Cyber Security Awareness Month, which aims at raising awareness and building capacity of cyber security in the country. At the same event, the Directive for the Protection of Critical Information Infrastructure and the Cyber Security Authority were also launched officially. 
The Cybersecurity Authority is to regulate cybersecurity activities and protect critical information infrastructure. The Cybersecurity Act 2020 Act 1038 defines a critical information infrastructure as a computer network that is essential for national security or the social well-being of citizens. On November 6, 2020, the Seventh Parliament of Ghana passed the Cybersecurity Act to protect a legal basis for the establishment of the Cybersecurity Authority. Communications Minister Mrs. Esla Osu Ekufu says the 2021 Cybersecurity Awareness Month is part of measures to effectively implement the Cybersecurity Act. She spoke on the Ghana Cybersecurity Act 2020, its implications and the role of stakeholders. I'd like to take this opportunity to acknowledge the enormous contribution and the relentless efforts of our stakeholders in accomplishing this feat, which has gained us international recognition. First and foremost, it took the political will of His Excellency the President and the last cabinet in prioritizing cybersecurity and insisting on the expedited establishment of a legal and regulatory framework for cybersecurity to get us here. The stakeholders who also contributed valuable inputs which improved upon the draft legislation and the National Cybersecurity Center itself in the passage of the law is unparalleled. It gives me great pleasure to declare the 2021 edition of the Cybersecurity Awareness Month <laughs> and the Cybersecurity Authority duly launched. At the same event, the Communications Minister reiterated her call for every Ghanaian to register their SIM cards during the re-registration exercise beginning on October 1 and ending in March next year or risk losing their mobile phone numbers. All of us have to register our SIM and have to register our devices. We provided a six-month period for this exercise and hope we all endeavor to take advantage of this window to do so. Let me just give a gentle reminder that all unregistered SIMs will be deactivated at the end of the registration exercise. And we mean it. We will enforce the law to the letter. Don't blame me if your phone is blocked. You were warned. Also at the event, the first Deputy Governor of the Bank of Ghana, Dr. Maxwell Opokwa Ferry said, the central bank has introduced initiatives to ensure that systems at the banks are robust and resilient. Given the fact that our financial sector has also had its fair share of these attacks, the Bank of Ghana, as far back as October 2018, took actionable steps to issue the Cyber and Information Security Directive in a bid to enhance and protect the security of this critical sector of our economy. Following the issuance of the directive, the Bank of Ghana has introduced many initiatives to strengthen and secure the information security architecture of banks and other financial institutions to ensure the systems at the banks and these institutions are robust and resilient. First, the Bank of Ghana has worked collaboratively with the commercial banks and other financial institutions to meet the governance requirements of the directive, that is appointment of board committees on cyber and information security with a clear charter, an assignment of director of cyber and information security, and appointment of chief information security officers by all banks and financial institutions. So far, the bank has prepared the banking sector cyber and information security guidelines to protect consumers and create a safer environment for online and e-payment products. Thank you for watching. We'll see you again with another edition. Stay safe and protect yourself from COVID-19. For more news, visit graphic.com.gh or log on to Facebook at Daily Graphic and on YouTube at GraphicGH. I'm Ama Echan Amankwa Befi. Subscribe now.